Although, I got a funny kind of feeling <laughs> that there's nothing up here. So what is this then? Ow, it's bright. Is this anything at all? Is this, why is this here? All right, fine. You know what? You know what? Fine. I, I don't need you. I don't need this. I'm going back down to my little uh, electricity dome. And welcome back to Mr. Red Plays. Wait for it. Let's Boom. I need something to get this elevator to work. Canarium. Yeah, okay. Well, I thought I had one, a handle, but apparently not. What's this now? Cavern entrance, base tower. Link elevator has been set up. It can reach both the tower and bottom levels now, down below the base now. Cop equipments and... The parts for portable submarines were started to be transported to the first base camp site. Okay. So is that what this is? Is this the uh, link elevator? I feel like there was a... I saw that word on the ground somewhere. It's got to be here. Yeah, it was. Hell yes. All right. So my handle I couldn't use. I, I, couldn't, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't get a handle on it. I couldn't get a handle on it. No? What okay. Need fine. For such security measures? Wait, what do you mean? What security measures? Looks like I need something to get this elevator to work. Is he positing that the uh erm um, is that the missing handle is is part of the, is that intentional? Is that what he's saying? I think that's what he's saying. All right, so I clearly can't do anything. Um so what then? Maybe I gotta go back up? Maybe I gotta go grab your brush and put a little Mac up? No? Okay. I can see inside. It seems like that's a dead end. Maybe that's like a secret bonus thing. I do want to get in there though. Just don't know how. I don't know how. I... It's gotta have something to do with this. They wouldn't put this here if next to a locked door, Biolab 2. Am I in Biolab 1? I should think so. Hmm, what about this? Have I tried this? Yeah, I have. It's locked. Uh, and there's nothing on this. See, there's no, um... What do you call it right there? This, too. It's flashy. I don't like it. Shush. Nobody asks you. Uh... What else, then? Can we just go upstairs? Because we can't do anything in the glossor... Glossor... Glossop... Glossopters. <laughs> can't do it. So here's the link elevator, can't do that either. Let's go back the way we came from, floor elevator. Maybe we gotta go up. Let's see if we gotta go up. Oh, unless I could take this. No, nope, I'm just uh, just going up, all right, cool. Well, back to this. Freedom! I'm out, I am out and I'm pissed. Okay, well, we're back on the main floor. There's surely to be more stuff to do in here, that's locked. Uh, what, what, what were we in the middle of exploring? We checked out here. There's gotta be more stuff, right? I mean, we haven't looked at everything. We didn't even go in the infirmary. What were we thinking not going to the infirmary? This is the first place you would go if you found pe missing people. Well, not if you found missing people, but... Well, I guess you would, because you'd bring them here. But I'm saying if you found out that the people were missing, you'd be like, maybe they're sick. Maybe they're pills. It's like a toolbox, but with many pills in it. That's funny. Hey, another journal. It's Dr. Witt's Medical Records 2. All of the members awakened without any problem, except for Frank Gilman. Uh-oh. All of a sudden, his heart ceased beating around 1.45 a.m. He was extremely cold, and there was no detectable pulse. I died? While I was preparing to perform cardiac compression, he momentarily opened his eyes. I'm unsure how much time passed since his heart failed to beat, but it can't have been more than five minutes. Why were you not paying attention to that? Uh, and then came the event that shook us all. The cause was the very first words Frank uttered directly to Dr. Faust right after he awakened. I don't know how to explain it, because his voice was muffled and almost indiscernible, but I am convinced that the voice I heard did not belong to Frank. As a medical doctor, I can say that this is not completely impossible for someone in his condition. But there was something wrong with what I heard. It was a sound that no human vocal cords could produce. But were they words, though? Because it sounds like they weren't. But you up here describe them as the very words. Am I dead? Am I a ghost? 
Is that what's going on here? Am I a ghostly boy? I don't want to be. Whoops. Didn't mean to open all those. <laughs> Do you guys remember there was like a... There was a Rugrats game for the PC. Many years ago. Many, many years ago. Where you had to like climb on drawers and you had to like open up certain ones. There's also something about a cookie. I want to play that game on the channel. That'd be funny for horror months. J. DeWitt. Or is it F. DeWitt? I don't know. Our, no, on psychotic, psychoactive plants, Sahidi, and I'm not even gonna try. Let's read it. And we, of course, we can't open it up. It's, 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 it's just tied with a simple knot. Just get a knife. Got it. You're in. You're good. It's fine. I don't know why everything needs to be so secretive. Jeez. Just learn the secrets. What do we got over here? More samples? You can't do anything with them. Nothing can be done. Another medical thing. Nothing on the back. Okay. By signing this document, you will agree to the terms written below. False statements made knowingly or willfully, including affidavits or other supporting documents submitted there within may be punishable. I hereby declare that I consent to perform my duties to the best of my ability. Listen to the judgments of the expedition leader, Dr. Faust, and participate in a series of medical missions as needed to the Apuat Antarctic base. The risks of participating in the aforementioned medical sessions have been fully explained to me. They haven't, actually. And any questions I have regarding the procedure, why it is necessary, its benefits, and the risks have been answered to my satisfaction. Therefore, I give my informed consent to the performance and of the procedures by signing the statement of consent. My name is on there, Frank Gilman. It's number four. Cool. Everybody else also signed. Are these all dudes, by the way? They look like they're all dudes. Alright, well, we all signed, so sealed our own fate. Why are these doors closing behind me? I don't like that. That makes me nervous. It's, it's a little suspicious. Hmm. I don't know about this. I don't know about all this. Or what to do. I feel like there's got to be something, right? Let's go outside. Where was outside? I think it was this way. I feel like it was... Yeah, because... Oh, did we look at these? I don't think we did. Attention for the crew members who are having sleeping problems. Examinations conducted regarding the increase of accidents. The accidents. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Am I hearing stuff? I think I am hearing stuff, and I don't like it. Uh, recently happening led me to believe that the reason behind those is some kind of intense cabin fever. Symptoms for this problem are insomnia, Ability to sleep. Strong headaches, seeing visions and hearing voices. Uh-oh. Crew members who suffer from the above symptoms are needed to refer to me personally for a thorough checkup or through checkup. Some people say thorough, some people say through. This will also be the main topic of the general meeting that we've held tomorrow after lunch. God, I wish there was a solid date for this game of when it was happening. This issue poses serious problems regarding the safety of life and sustenance of work. So it must be taken heed of soberly. But I can't drink, though? Who, who said that? that who, who was that? That was Dewitt. Oh, yeah. Johan Dewitt. Here we have Nikolai Hansen. All oh, right, We read this. Okay. We read that. Interesting. But that was a different place, though. That, this, this, this weather notice must be uh, in multiple areas. Okay. I think this is outside. So I'm going to go there. Because I think there's more to explore. More to explore outside. All right, we're out. We've broken free. So there's a ship. And yeah, there's a, a strong light shining over there. Somehow it reminds me of a lighthouse. Yeah, I wonder why somehow it's a giant tall thing that shines light. That's pretty lighthousey. Let's go over there and check it out then. Why not, right? I guess we could take this walkway, but I don't know if we're gonna be trapped up there. Yeah, we would have been. Although it doesn't seem to matter much. Okay, never mind. You can't really see too far in front of you, which is good because you wouldn't. But it's bad because you want to. I'm just gonna go out. I'm just gonna go, uh, go on a little exploration. Go a little exploratory. Just a little, uh, little looksy do. A little, little, little it's one of these. Not oh! safe to go farther away from the expedition base in this weather. Hmm, okay. So wait, this way? Yeah, I can't. Okay. Away from the what about this way? Ooh, rocks. Ew. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
place in this weather. So these rocks, I'm assuming, lead back to that area that I did in the first episode, or second episode, rather. Where I fix things. I'm assuming. Hmm. So where is everybody, then? I looked everywhere. What else is there to do? What more is there? Wait a second. There's something over here. There's more stuff to look at. There's more stuff to look at, brother. You guys remember Lost? We'll look over there in a second. We'll, we'll look out here. Lost was a good show. I, I, I miss Lost. There is, there's so many shows that came out after Lost that were like... The next Lost, you know? It's not going to be safe to proceed any further in this weather. I bet you. I, I have a funny kind of feeling. Oh, wait. I'm seeing stuff. I'm seeing something. Big rocks. Okay, cool. It's easy to get lost in this weather. Oh! I'd better stay close to the expedition base. Yeah, an achievement. Check this out. Walk out of opposite sides of the map outside the base. That's cool. I don't like to look at achievements so so much beforehand. Because, spoilers, but, uh, very interesting that I, I did not expect to get an achievement for doing that. I like when games reward you for exploring, exploring, rather. I don't know what exploring means. I'm getting way too British. I'm getting super into the accent of this game, innit? He's, he's a, it's a wee bit nippy out. It's, it's not safe to be wandering about. You'll, you'll catch a spot of cold. You'll, you'll catch your death. Wait a second. What's going on here? What's, what's the thing that I wanted to look at? I'm down here. I want, I circumvented it. Yeah, I wanted to be up, I wanted to be up this way. Okay, I went all the way around this thing here. And I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, you guys. Although, I got a funny kind of feeling that there's nothing up here. So what is this then? Ow, oh, it's bright. Is this anything at all? Is this, why is this here? All right, fine. You know what? You know what? Fine, I, I don't need you. I don't need this. I'm going back down to my little uh, electricity dome. That's where I'm going. I'm gonna look around it actually. Did I just see something fly through the mist? Or is that just random snow? It's just random snow? Okay, cool. Good to know. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm again trying to Skyrim my way up these walls and, and, and mountains. I simply cannot. So sorry about that, everybody. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. All right, let's go inside. Let's close the door. Hey, it's cold out there. Hey. Okay, so did we f not do enough in here? turning the power on because there's like a lot of stuff that's still turned off I feel like I did everything I possibly could some of these cords just go back there okay hmm this door seems to be not attached to anything anything at all anything to do at all oh Locked. damn it In here oh oh got a key I found a key. I don't know what this key's for, but I found it. See, it's a good thing I came back here. I got a key. It says a metallic key. All right. So now we have to go... Th we have to go back through every single door that we've gone through. Oh! Damn it. All right. How about this, guys? How about it? We'll end the episode. I'll start exploring around the base, and when I find something that opens, that I use the key, we'll be back. All right? So in the next episode, two days from now... We'll, 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 there'll be progress to be made. We'll go through a door. I'm excited for it. I really do think that there's a lot to this game, and um, it's interesting. I'm really interested in this. I like it a lot. So, uh, come back tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We might still be playing Emily Watts to play, but the door slammed it. It scared me. Um, maybe something really scary will happen in the next episode. We haven't really had an overwhelming abundance of, of fear, of scares. Uh, there's, there's an occasional shadowy figure that shows up, and that's, I don't like that, but, hey, these things happen. Uh, so we'll see you then for more exciting Cronarium adventures. Until then, I'm Mr. Red. Stay spooky out there, everybody.